doesn't seem that moves at all, so... Yeah, that thing's not moving, okay. Sneaky. There's a turret right there. There has to be a, a computer for it somewhere. There's the terminal right there. Let's make sure. Okay. Good. save because I haven't done that in a while. got to do that. I'm gonna take you along. You are my friend now. Who needs guns when you have one that shoots automatically? I thought there were people in here. There aren't? Aww. Come on. Get through here. Buddy. Come on. Buddy. No! You're too fat!
Ah, no, that was an idiot. That was an idiot. Done your job. Thank you. Nobody else? Nobody else? There are some other people. You know, I will say, at least for this, it is at least some ble uh, believable that, like, they wouldn't. Like, they go back to normal, it's like, oh, gunshots! Oh, it's, they probably, you know, alert. shot somebody. Ah, uh, okay. He's going back and forth, he's going around here. Okay. Huh? I Stop saw him. that! Bust him up! That way, okay. Seriously. This is what I get for not being observant. Malik, get Pritchard on the line. Tell him I need everything he's got on the Tai Young Medical Building. Schematics, blueprints, everything. That might take a while, Jensen. Yeah, well, he's got as long as it takes for me to find this Taiyang shuttle Van Bruggen talked about and ride it to their factory. Jensen out. Okay. Yeah, uh, don't mind me. I'm just. Can I. Oh, okay. I can go around this way. Okay, life and death have their preordained something or other. One moment. Uh, you are not a harvester. We have had the occasional problem with them stealing from limb clinics. Very unkebey. But to go to the harvester at night, you need to be prepared. There wasn't another person over there before, was there? You are not a harvester. Do you go to the harvester at night? You speak English? I have been waiting for a long time for this surgery. Oh, okay, really? That's him? Can't you see I'm busy? Go bother someone else. <laughs> Death and taxes. Nice hat. <laughs> no. Death and life have their determined appointments. What? Oh, uh... And riches and honors depend upon heaven. Very good. Right. What now? Shh. They have eyes and ears everywhere. Meet me outside the clinic. Turn left from the front and go down the stairs. I'll be waiting at the corner. Okay. Psst. Over here. Come on now. I'm relieved to know they sent a professional, at least. That makes two of us. Right. Well, you're not exactly what I was expecting. I was told I would be meeting a girl. How do I know you're not an imposter or some sort of double agent? Don't think I don't know this could all just be an elaborate trap to set me up. Look, no offense, Mr. X. X, or whatever your name is, but I really don't have time for this. So if you could simply just give me what I came for, I'll be on my way. Yes, yes. I have it right here. Evelyn Carmichael's autopsy report. Here. 
Take it. Thank you. I trust you will put this information to good use, because accountability and justice is at an all-time low, I'm afraid. It pains me to see this once great city, which stood as a bastion for reform and progress against our oppressive communist origins, succumb to the trappings of corporate bureaucracy and petty corruption. Corruption so often typical of your Western governments. Whatever you and say. The communist now, if you don't mind, I really well. must be going. Well, there is still the matter of my payment. 1,000 credits was the agreed upon price, I believe. Isn't that right? Sure, yeah. And what were you just saying about corruption? A deal is a deal. Surely your handlers informed you of this little detail. No, my handlers failed to mention this little detail. It, never mind. Just take your I money. I can afford it. This report better be worth it. Oh, I assure you it is. Whoever it was that didn't want this information given to the proper authorities paid a lot of money to have it ignored. A pity for them, limb policy strictly prohibits deletion of records concerning operational procedures. For legal purposes, you see. Legal, hmm. right. Nice doing business with you, X. Okay, what does this say? Uh, no, after extraction, remove all traces. Um, all that is necessary to try Nothing. Autopsy report, Fino 21. Um, death, 815. No, it's not 815. It'd be 1015. Yeah. Uh, entries, scalp, intuition, pattern. Your draws, causes that asphyxia, hemorrhaging, blood test reveal. Bloodstream yeah. will reduce early stages of pregnancy. First trimester fetal development. So that's why she was killed. Malik, I just got the autopsy report. No drugs or alcohol in Evelyn's system. And her estimated time of death doesn't fit Lee's story. She did die from a head wound, but not one that matches the evidence found at the scene. I knew it. It couldn't have been just an accident. There's more. Evelyn was pregnant. Malik? I'm here. I... We can't let him get away with this, Jensen. He's guilty. He has to be. Can you go to his apartment? And do what? Get proof. Get... something. I'm sending you the coordinates. Contact me again when you're there. Okay. It's been a while since I've been here. Ah. computer. Hmm. Okay. Malik, I'm inside Lee's apartment. Doesn't look like anyone's home. Damn. Okay, look. Lee isn't smart enough to properly cover his tracks, so look around. Maybe you can find something suspicious. Now I can do the computer. Okay. me to forward this to you. It's the quarterly report in the time of your uh, investments in LIM from Bell Tower Associates. Are spread tight lift. Yada, yada, yada. You still on for Friday. Company or Friday. 
Jeez. Um, your behavior is uh, everything's power to support and protect you. Patient is running thin. If you do not change your brain lifestyle, I will have no choice but to remove you from both the company and family, being no more financial support or immunity. Mm -hmm. Malik, it looks like Hong Sr. was upset with Hong Jr.'s behavior and threatened to cut off his inheritance if he didn't stop whoring around. Sounds like he considered Evelyn beneath the family name. And if he knew she was pregnant, I... I can't believe Lee would do something like that just for money. Speaking of money, the Hong family seems heavily invested in both Bell Tower and Lim. That could explain the cover-up and lack of a proper investigation. I'll keep looking. I'm sure there's more here. Okay. What else is there to find? Uh, I can't... Oh, okay. Hey, Lee, baby. Can't wait to see you today. But I'm stuck at work. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you, baby. I promise. I'll meet you at the hive, okay? Just don't get a party started without me. I want you all to myself tonight. The hive? I should have guessed Lee would be there. It's pretty much a second home for him. Wait a minute, you heard that? Sorry, Jensen. I don't like invading your privacy like this, but it's important. Plus, this gives me an idea. When you're done looking around Lee's apartment, head to the Hive. Contact me when you're there. I'll stick around a bit. I'm sure there's still more to find. Hmm. What is there to find? Malik, I think I got a probable murder weapon. A broken clock. The kicker is the hands line up roughly with Evelyn's TOD. Coincidence? That's a hell of a stretch. You really think? If Lee's as dumb as you say, maybe. We'd need lab tech analysis to confirm, but if there ever was a smoking gun, it fits. I'll make one last sweep to make sure I got everything. Uh, okay, let's see if there's anything. Oops, no, everything, okay. Hmm. Oh. Malik, I found a baseball bat, but it looks clean. Almost like it's been washed recently. Maybe Lee washed Evelyn's blood off of it. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm not sure it could inflict the type of laceration she had. Okay, I think that's it. I'm heading to the hive now. I doubt we'll find anything else in here without calling in a forensics team. Sounds good. Okay. Praxis, you say? Hey, it's the Hive! Hey, buddy! Hey. Leaving already, tough guy. Because you might want to go over to the bar and order yourself a drink before you do. Maybe Bobby will have something for you. Bobby? The bartender. The real bartender, that is. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. I just might check that out. You do that. You got a favorite poison? Looks like Tong's running a nice operation here. You for hire? Because a suspicious man might not appreciate you asking. A suspicious man might also wonder what kind of job gets handed off to strangers. But all right, I'll bite. What are you offering? I got a problem I need solving. Trouble is, none of my usual guys are available. And this problem? It involves a woman. Someone who owes Tong operation here some money. Getting it out of her is proving to be... difficult. It's a dirty job, but it pays well. You interested? Um, okay. Tell me more. I'm listening. That's what I like to hear. This woman, Jaya, she's a broker. Highly competitive field in Hengsha. But without the right skills, her business wasn't doing so well. So, we helped her out. Gave her a nice social enhancement upgrade chip so she could understand her client's needs. Now, it's time to pay us what's due. But she says she won't. So basically, you want me to be your collector? Yes. But it's not as simple as that. The girl's gone into hiding and thinks we won't find her. But she also took her phone and computer along to keep her business alive. 
Not very smart. Assuming you've got the equipment to track those. We don't exactly. But we know someone who does. And that's where you come in. Bao Tower set up a surveillance network around town. A series of relay antennas. I need you to hack them. Three relays should be enough for us to access the database okay. and triangulate Jaya's position. Then I go get your money. Exactly. The first relay is on the rooftop of a four-story building in the Yu Zhao district. I assume you've got an info link and Wayfinder package in those fancy orgs of yours? I'll upload the coordinates and then contact you once you've hacked in. Okay, so let's do the other thing we were here to do. Here he is, okay. I don't know why the X wasn't on him. It was it lacking around. What do you want, Chrome Boy? Is your name Lee Hong? Yeah, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. What's it to you? I want to talk to you about Evelyn Carmichael. Ev... Man, it's off! I already told all you narcos all there is to say. Relax. I'm not with the police. I work private. And you could say I specialize in cases like yours. If you ain't police, then what the fuck you want? A simple proposition. I have proof that shows you murdered Evelyn. And I want you to pay me two and a half million credits to make that proof disappear. Two and a half? Bullshit. You ain't got shit on me, Narco. I ain't paying you shit. I strongly suggest you reconsider. And I strongly suggest you get the fuck out of my face. Because unless you got your proof right here, I ain't got shit to say to you. All right. Let's start with the police report. I know your story doesn't match up with the evidence at the scene of Evelyn's fall. Oh, yeah? And why is that? Uh... Mm. Oh god, which do I choose? Because the police report revealed inconclusive blood spatter analysis. Meaning the wound that killed Evelyn happened before she ever fell down those stairs. Yeah, and? <laughs> that still don't prove shit. Not only does the evidence not add up, but neither does your testimony. You lied about why Evelyn fell down the stairs in the first place. Hmm. Was it she was drunk or something? Yeah, I think they said that she fell down the stairs because she was drunk. You said you'd both been drinking heavily prior to the accident, and the reason Evelyn fell was because she was drunk. We both know that isn't true. Man, that shit was in the papers. Now, if the evidence doesn't fit and your story was a lie, then how did Evelyn die on that night? Well, the answer is pretty simple, really. You killed her. But how? Oh god. Mm. I'm gonna say the clock just because that one's it's actually broken. By hitting her in the head with that antique clock you keep so prominently displayed in your apartment. The lacerations on her head, the intracranial hemorrhaging, it's the perfect match. In my apartment? How the fuck do you know what's in my apartment? And like any good crime of passion, you needed motivation. Something to fuel your violent outbursts. What did Evelyn say or do to make you murder her? Hmm. Oh god, it could be either one of these. Pretty sure it might have been because she was pregnant. She told you she was pregnant, and you panicked. Faced with the prospect of losing your easy way of life, you struck out at her in anger. How? That's impossible. But now the final piece of the puzzle. Why was Evelyn's death never considered a murder investigation? Because your family, one of the wealthiest and most influential families in Shanghai, covered it up. But whose silence did they buy? Hmm. Both, didn't it? Ah! Uh, I think it, it was Lim, because I think it was because they were the ones that never handed over the autopsy. Lim. Your family's sizable investments in Lim assured the autopsy performed on Evelyn's body would never see the light of day, and her death would simply fall through the cracks of an already crumbling justice system. Fuck this shit, man! And, and fuck you! I can help you, Lee. But only for a price. Alright, fuck! I can't believe this shit! I'll pay you, man! I'll pay you, just... What do you need from me? Details. Let me hear your side of the story, and then we'll move on from there. I don't... I don't know! Evelyn, that stupid bitch! She was going to ruin me. I... I didn't mean to kill her, okay? Evelyn wouldn't shut up about us, about the baby, so I hit her! I just wanted to make her shut her stupid mouth. 
but the dumb bitch started freaking out. So I hit her again and, until I... Until she finally stopped screaming. When I realized what I'd done, I, I panicked. She was barely breathing, so I carried her to the stairs near my apartment and, and dropped her. I had to make sure it looked like an accident. I had no choice. She trapped me. She just wanted my money. I would have been ruined. I need to go. We'll be in contact again soon. Huh? What? What about the evidence? And the money? Where the fuck you going? Goodbye, Lee. Okay. <laughs> Malik, please tell me you got a recording of all that. Oh my god, Jensen, I could kiss you right now. I can't believe you got him to confess so openly like that. To be honest, it was easier than I was expecting. You were definitely right about Lee. He's not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. Well, don't get too cocky just yet. Before I send our little friend's confession off to the local media and authorities, I want to get some Shanghai street justice first. There's a control panel linked to the hive I need you to hack. Uploading the coordinates now. Okay. Right, go back upstairs. Okay, it doesn't look like he's turning around, but I want to make sure. Access granted. All right, Malik. It's hacked. Verifying the signal. Come on, come on. Okay, I'm in. Remote frequencies are clear, thank God. Uploading now. And done. Meet me in front of the hive, Jensen. I have a little surprise for our friend Lee. Mm. Okay. What have you done in that evil little mind of yours? Jensen. Malik. Well, first take this. I was gonna use it myself, but after everything you've done, I think you deserve it more. So what are you gonna do now? I That's have a few loose ends to tie up, and I need to make sure this autopsy report finds its way into the right hands. The Hongs aren't gonna buy their way out of this one. Lee's confession is solid. The Hongs of With Hong that Kong. and the evidence from the Hong autopsy, Kong? there's no way he can avoid prosecution. Justice will be served. Oh, justice will be served, all right. You might want to stick around for a second. I've got one last little surprise for our friend Lee. Are you facing the hive? Yeah. It's almost showtime. In three, two. Malik. Just watch. I don't. I don't know. Evelyn, that's a stupid bitch. She was going to ruin me. I. I didn't mean to kill her, okay? Malik, Evelyn, remind me never to piss you off. After everything you've done here for Evelyn, for me, you'd have to try pretty hard, Mister. Okay. I think that is more than enough for now. So, I'm going to call that here. I hope you guys liked. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.